as a starting point on this video, we've obviously already taken the wheel off. We've already taken the brake drum off, cleaned up the stuff because there'll be a lot of brake dust when you do that. And the next thing we're going to do is remove the old springs. We have a special tool for this that doesn't work very well. All right. Okay. There's one spring off. All right, now, if you want to put oh. the screwdriver in there and sort of pull that one there. out, there you there go. You that go. helps. Thank you. There we go. We're on. And now. You're off. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's right there. Oh, okay. Okay. So top springs are off. I'm going to take this retainer off. You're going to need a new one of these because this is too thick. And I've made a new one. That's all there is up there. You want to pull the middle spring next? Yeah, we'll take this middle spring out. If you've got a 57, you probably have this middle spring. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, because they don't always get replaced. How do we get that other way? Is it this one? Oh, there it there goes. goes. We'll take that spring out. And some people do attempt to put them back in with this, uh, when they put the new automatic adjusters on. I'm not going to. It's not clear really why Ford even put the spring in. They didn't have them pre-57. And the next thing we're going to do is take off these take retainers. Off the retainers. They're yeah. holding the shoes on. That's really all that's left holding the shoes on. There. Okay. Take this retainer off. Set it aside, you'll reuse that. Set it this side. And a lot of what we're doing here is the same thing you would do if you were just doing a brake job, because you'd have to take the old shoes off to put the new shoes on. A lot of this would be very similar to that. So now we're going to take the whole shoe assembly off. Make sure we don't pull the wheel cylinder apart. Okay, I agree. They're clear. Okay. So that's the shoes. Now, when I put new shoes on, if, you, if the reason you were looking at this was just to see how to put shoes on, what I would do differently there than what we're going to do today is I always put this stuff together on the new shoes on the ground. I get all this together so that I can put the new shoes back on like this and don't have to fight trying to put all this stuff together. But as you'll see later, you can't do it that way on this. Plus, you don't really need to because it works out just as well if you don't. And then while we're in here, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to re-grease with some white lithium grease these little pads that the edges of the shoes ride on. Just because we can, because we're in here. Oh, so where are we now? Okay, now we're at the important part Sorry. for the left side of the car. Oh, yes. And the key here is that on the left side of the car, if you remember when we looked at these are the original brakes and the original adjuster, you see that the star wheel is to the front and there is a corresponding slot in the backing plate right there that you can reach in and make your adjustment the when you go to the self-adjusting brake because of the way the mechanism works the star wheel will end up to the rear of the assembly and that is uh, why we need 
to, uh, that is why we need to put a slot in there to make sure that we can get to the adjuster. The, there are people that have done it without putting the slot. My caution is that if you do not have a slot here and you therefore you have no way to back off the uh, self adjuster, it is locked in place by the paw mechanism and you can't put a screwdriver in and you can't get in to loosen it and you may not be able to get the brake drum off. So, Something like this? Yep, something like that'll work. And just, yeah, just lay it on there, okay. And then I took a short, a short straight edge and just drew a line along here and up there, okay? We're gonna try. Yeah, you see, you just sort of line it up on the upper line. Looks like yeah. the top. Does that look yeah, lined up to you? That looks lined up to me. And just run along here. there, okay? And then I go down to the lower. Looks like it's pretty close to Yeah, that'll be spot. good, okay? And then, the I and how do we decide where to make that's what I'm going to show you right now okay that's what I'm going to show you right now is where where do you where do you start the slot is what you're asking correct yep. okay. okay now what I do is then I come back up here and put your pins through the holes okay. if you can okay if you can sort of get me in position. Okay, here. there's one pin. Right. I went on yeah. the pad, okay? That yeah. seemed like the, yeah, that seems like and about then, the right spot. And then what I did, is, all right, is take this, and I just made a vertical line where this was, okay? So right in line with the star wheel. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, so, so we've got a good starting point. No, no that, that's about an inch. So I'm gonna go back here an inch okay and then center punch there and there and drill five sixteenths is what i did now let's see the retainer we'll use that just as a yeah but that's what it is that's the length of right just in the end of the original just slot. For scale so that hole has to be the size of this yes and so yeah. i just wanted to put this here so you yeah, could see. see we're going to make the hole pretty much that size yep okay okay then what I'm going to do is back up from, back up about that far, right? Okay. Yeah. There. Okay. I actually went, yeah, but I actually went, uh, I went an intermediate step. You can try and no, see that. No, let's see how it goes. Yeah, let's see how it goes. I don't have much confidence in this. Just going yeah. for it, but. Yeah. Oh. Cutting good, I was going to say. Yeah. Maybe this battery's on its last leg. So I'd say you want to go back and give it a start with that one. Okay. Let's go it's ahead. almost in the center. Yeah, let's try the 5 yeah. and see what's left over, okay? The one that didn't work was taking a saw and cutting between those. Oh, no. <laughs> no, that was a pain. I was hoping that might work. Well... Okay. Yep, you got the idea. All right. Yeah. 
<laughs> You're doing pretty good with that. <laughs> He's going to win first, thus or the drill. <laughs> I think your battery's going to give out. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I think the drill's going to win this one. Yeah. I think I got one more battery. Okay. But you're close. I'm very you're close. close. Yeah. 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 All right. See, I'm filing the top edge flat, and then this file seems to be a little sharper on one side, so I'm filing, and I'm filing the bottom edge flat. Okay. Now here's the trick. Here, here's the here's the real test. See if that fits. See if that'll fit. That's the real test. Make it a little longer. Okay, let me get a round file so you can round off that. All right. Round off? Yeah, that's good. Right, let's see if we fit now. Yes, it fits. Okay. And we can leave it. We've got. All right. Okay. So, and so you can see we've got seals on both of them, but we can get them out. Okay. Okay. What we want to do now is let's start putting. We want to put the shoes back on. Okay, so we need these. Yep. Yeah, because we're going to put the shoes on, then we'll put the upper springs on, and then we'll put the lower in. Okay? Obviously, for those people that have the special tool, this goes a lot easier. Which way am I oriented? Like that. There. There. Okay. Okay. All right. There's the first one. Yep. Okay. There is, where's this? Yeah, I've got, yeah, we're good. We got all the pieces, don't we? Everything's here. Whoops. Okay. Okay. So, that one, you want yeah. to put, let's oh, see, see, that's later. Raise it up. Let's do, let's do the top springs first, right? Let's oh, do okay. the, let's do the, uh, we need the. So we got the. We got the new retainer here. The old the, top springs yeah. right here. We, we've got to put the retainer yeah. on, and we have to put the cable on, right? Yeah. And then, and the springs will pull that in. Yeah. Okay. And the cable. And of course, one of the key points, Jim, you might want, or pardon me, take one thing you want to watch is when you put this cable on, you want to make sure that the flat is back yeah, against the take retainer. This off and yeah, show. show show that. That's a good so point. So this cable, you know, is completely flat this way, just by the way it's made. So we want that flat to go on the back, so this is not going to hit anything. Because if you put it on this way, then this raised part's going to wind up hitting this, and you don't really want that. And it, it actually pushes the yeah. washer part of the retainer out. Okay. That. And we're sitting right on yeah. that shoulder. Okay. So and you can go ahead and put that spring here. Nope. Nope. No, it goes down into that hole. So this Wait a minute. No, we need to add. Remember, we need to add. Oh, this is the back side on this side. This is side. the back side, so we need to add the cable guide. Okay. That's the cable guide. And it fits in there. <laughs> you, you hold on. Yeah, I'm just it. moving this. I got out the, the cable. I've got the cable up the here. The cable okay. won't matter right now. No. Where it is. All right. We'll put it in you position put the later. Cable guide in. Then you hook the spring in that hole. Okay. And then you just use your fingers and you just stretch the spring, spring. over that. That's right. I got it. There we go. What I want to do. Is. This tool is made for this purpose. 
Yes. Got her? Got her. Yep, hold your, hang on. There we go. There we go. So yep. That spring is on. Spring is on, yes. Everything looks good. Yes, okay. And the cable, the cable is routed behind the guide, so we're good okay. there. All right, so it's time to put the front spring on. And it goes there and here. Oh, I know one thing I do, one thing I want to do is I want to just yeah. squeeze that just a hair. Yeah, we're tightening up the ends of these springs because when they were taken off, it tends to bend them open. Yeah. We want to make sure that they're not yeah. going to be able to pop and off. And push this push spring it. back. Okay. Yeah, there's enough room here just to get the last spring in. Same thing with that spring, we'll tighten up the end of it. Close the end a little. Yeah. Yeah, we're in right. place. Okay. Oh, yeah. Everything we're, is in place. Isn't yeah, it? we're pretty well in. It's there yeah, you go. Now we're centered. Now we're pretty well centered. And we I like this because we've got a little bit of movement mm -hmm. here and the cable can rotate too. Yeah. Okay? So I'm real happy with where we where things are. Yeah. To put the washer, yeah, the washer fits on the end, then the cap fits on, and this side is actually a right hand thread, which is one of the differences between the original setup, which each side was the mirror, was basically all the same parts in reverse order, yeah. In order to make the self adjusters work, because they have to work off the back shoe because they work when you back up. Now they have to not be the same. They have to be, I guess you'd call a mirror image of each other. Yeah, they do. Okay, there. And then this is the, I call it the paw mechanism. This is what actually moves to click the star wheel down. It fits into here. And then this is the spring that you replace. And that came with a new spring kit, right? Right. This is the original spring. This is the new one. It goes right in there. And then we pull it to get to there. Remember. And I can't. Yeah. Let me get back. Get down here. Oh, I know what we did. I remember what we did. First we put the spring on, right? Yeah, we put the spring on first, and then... And then we put it in the anchor hole. Then we pushed, we came back far enough, and I grabbed it with the pliers. Is what I, it was, I don't know why, but it, I agree with you, it seemed... There, look how easy that was. Yes. Okay? So now, what we do is... We've got to put this hook has got to go on to this piece here, right? Yes, that's what you've got but to do. But it's got to do it after it's over this guide. You've got to be behind the guide. So Correct. We're behind the guide. Whoops. Oh, that whole thing jumped out on us. Well, maybe we can put it in before we even put that part yes, in. Yes, yes, that's what I... No, no we... No, it's not... It's not in the groove. There. Okay, that's not. There, there. it goes. Now we're in the groove. Okay, and what we want to do now. Almost. Yeah. Maybe if I grab here. Okay. We're in. We're in. All right. So we're oh, over the hey, guide here. Except we put this in backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, let's see if well, don't do, let's see if we can just stretch this out like this. Okay. And maybe just take it out. I don't think so. Yeah. Maybe you can. Here. There. Okay. This side here. And I got to it up here. This way. Get that there. Up. Get that side. Yeah. There. 
Right, we're in. Okay. okay. So it'd probably be easier in retrospect since that went, since this went in so easy when the rest of this yes. was in place. In retrospect, don't put this in first. Put the adjuster Hook, in. Yeah, last. put the adjuster and all this other stuff in, and then you can just your spread arms will be strong out. enough to spread these apart. Yeah. And then you can pop this thing in. Yeah. Live and learn. And put the drum on and. And we'll start and we'll do the initial adjustment. So we're going to do this initial adjustment. Obviously, it's completely too loose right now. And so, just like on the other side, the adjustment to bring the brake shoes out to make them tighter is to rotate the bottom towards the center of the car. So, we're just taking a screwdriver and pushing it like that. And that's why we put that other hole in. If we, as Rusty was explaining, if you ever have to back this off, you can't do it with the brake adjuster tool because when you try and go backwards, this lever is hitting these notches and it will not let this rotate backwards. And you have to put a, a screwdriver through that back hole and the screwdriver is gonna push against the back of this and it's gonna push it out like that to release it so it's not holding as a ratchet to keep that from turning backwards. So unlike a regular brake adjustment, where you use the one brake adjusting tool, you're going to have to use a brake adjusting tool and a screwdriver to hold this thing away from that star wheel. But to adjust it tighter, it's not a problem because it just spins and ratchets. So we put the brake drum on and we're putting pushing on the brake pedal just to expand the shoes and get them nicely centered inside this while we do the rest of the adjustment. And it's still too loose. Yeah. I would say that's gonna be it. You can go ahead and pump it if you want. Oh, that feels very good. Yeah, it's just... Oh, that's that's good. That's good. It feels just about right to me. Yeah, that felt real good. So we're, we're done. We've adjusted it. The drum's back on. All that remains now, we're just going to put the wheel back on, put the lug nuts, retorque them, and we will be done with this modification.